Um, they ask you to do diligence with the kind of uh, clients that you do business with. Because uh, one of the biggest challenge is the terms of payment that you either get from where you get your goods right. and who you sell to. Because right. you find that Kenya, the way it is, that there is an aspect of credit when it comes to services and, and, and goods. Right, Dream. Uh, you're making very valid points, but there seems to be a small technical hitch. So I'll just throw this to David for a minute. Uh, the traditional way of assessing, you know, collateral and assessing what exactly you, you've spoken about behavioral, you know, changes and checking that particular graph. If you, if you could just tell us for the youth who comes with nothing but his name and he wants a Fuliza loan and he believes that this Fuliza loan will be, you know, good for their business, what would you advise them? So, so the, the first thing that uh, would advise the youth is that uh, ensure you are taking the loan for productive use. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, uh, today um, I can take a loan to go and squander, but mm -hmm. it will follow me in terms of um, you know, uh, struggling for repayment. Now, uh, when it comes to, um, and I'll give you an example, Hiba. Yes. Um, you could find a youth who wants just for Lisa to get transport, to get to a certain place, to do a pitch deck. Yeah. Right? Yes. They didn't want that money to go and finance the business. But they wanted to go and present what they have to, you know, to either a panel or a board. And that can unlock that idea that they have pitched to that board. And when they will leave that place, they leave with a contract. That is the impact of ease of access of credit, but for the right use. Mm -hmm. So what I would advise them is to do is uh, make sure that when you're taking the loan, understand that the loan has to be repaid. Mm -hmm. So we have to have the culture and the discipline of repaying our loans. Mm -hmm. That is one. Because mm -hmm. um, you can either build your, your career or kill it downstream if you don't, you don't have that discipline. Then secondly, um, what I would tell them is that um, ensure that you're putting this money into productive use. Mm -hmm. Not uh, not consumption. Mm -hmm. So if you take a loan for consumption, of course you'll you'll struggle in repaying it back mm -hmm. because you'll have to find another loan, get a Shylock, sell a shoe, sell a TV yes. to get. But put that money into enterprise, which gives you uh, you know a bit of return, mm -hmm. and then you're able to pay back your your loan. Mm -hmm. Again, loans are not bad, as I said, but they should be put into proper use and productive use for that matter. Right, and you are you know reverberating a lot of the things that he said you were echoing a lot of his uh, points. If you could just tell us nothing but their name, what yes. would you advise them? Like I said, um, first thing first is that like David is saying, uh, you must know your business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely very important. Um, the purpose that you are borrowing, then it must be something to add more value to already the business that you have. Mm -hmm. Um, we understand at times there might be economic shocks that you are not able to make the right returns you expect. The, light, the right thing would be encourage is that you come back to the bank and say this has happened and then they ask, the bank always is willing to listen to you right. so that it can give you an option of a repayment plan. Right. right? That is very important. Then the other thing is that uh, there is also the aspect of uh, financial literacy. You have to understand then how money flows in and out of your business. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you understand also uh, the aspect of mentorship. Who else has come before you? Who can mentor you to an area that you'd want to, 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 to go into? Because what we have realized for most of our business customers, SMEs, is that they are jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. So you find that I want to do six things at a go. So whichever comes up uh, is what I'm going to use. But, but that at times doesn't really work very much. So, so we'd say that just focus on few items, then you can iterate as you go by. Yes. And uh, as you know, businesses take that advice and look into how they're going to be starting small and mm. growing to bigger lengths. Yeah. We're seeing that a trend usually is a lot of businesses opt for value added financial services. We're going to be discussing that in the next uh, session that we're going to be having. This particular session uh, goes for a very short break, but we'll be right back.